كتاب اللغة الإنجليزية للصف الثالث الثانوي الأدبي كتاب الطالب Student Book على الوحدة الأولى بعنوان World Issues الدرس الأول بعنوان The Law من صفحة عشرة حتى صفحة خمسة عشر تقدمت مبادرة الضوء بصوت ريم سروجي Exercise number two You are going to listen to a talk about the law Before you listen, guess and match these words from the talk with their meanings. We have A. Enforce B. Govern C. Guilty D. Innocent E. Jury F. Legal G. Principle H. Property I. Prove تمرين هو توصيل هدول الكلمات اللي بدنا نوصلهم معون هنن Number one Not responsible for a crime. Number two, something valuable which belongs to someone. Number three, a group of people in court which decide whether someone is guilty. Number four, rule or belief. Number five, to control. Number six, responsible for a crime. Number seven, to show that something is true. Number eight, relating to the law. Number nine. To put into practice, carry out. Number one, A, enforce. The answer is nine. To put into practice or carry out. B, govern, is with five to control. C, guilty. The answer is six, responsible for a crime. D, Innocent. The answer is one. Not responsible for a crime. E. Jury. The answer is three. A group of people in court who decide whether someone is guilty. F. Legal. The answer is eight. Relating to the law. G. Principle. The answer is four. Rule or belief. H property. The answer is two. Something valuable which belongs to someone. I prove the answer is seven. To show that something is true. Exercise three. You are going to listen to a lecture about law making. Before you listen, try to answer these questions. Discuss your answers with a partner. A. Can you think of an action that everyone in every country thinks is wrong? The answer is theft or murder. B. How long ago you think the first code of laws was made? The answer is four thousand years ago. C. Who makes the laws is most societies? The answer is governments. D. You are going to hear about three types of law: criminal law, civil law, and what is the third type of law? The answer is family law. E. Some criminals are sent to prison for their crimes. What is a typical punishment for a less serious crime? The answer is a fine. Exercise five. Listen again and choose the correct answers to these questions. A. How does the speaker define law? One. A special code. Two. Rules which control society. Three individual rules. Four the rules of an organization. The answer is two. The law is rules which control society. B. Who makes sure people obey codes of law? A. Government. Sorry, one government. Two police and judges. Three members of the public. Four juries. And the answer is. Two. Police and judges. C. Which type of law deals with murder and theft? 
One criminal law, two family law, three civil law, four property law, and the answer is one criminal law. Exercise number six. What do the words in italics in these extracts from the lecture refer to? A. The law is the code or set of rules which, which is in italic, governs all individuals. The answer is the code or set of rules. B. A person is innocent until someone proves that he or she, he and she are in italics, is guilty. The answer is B. A person, he or she. C. Three main types of law. Firstly, the one, the one is in italics, that people know most about. The answer is a type of law. D. The law affects every area of people's daily lives. From driving their cars, there is in italics, the answer is people. Exercise number one from vocabulary, words with more than one meaning. Number one, find the correct definitions from the list below for the repeated words in each pair, from A to F. A. Society. When I was a student, I was a member of the law society. Number two, a strong legal system is important in a modern society. Number one, when I was a student, I was a member of the law society. Society here is a club or organization. Two, a strong legal system is important in a modern society. Society here is all the people. Now B, ruler. Tutankhamun was a very famous Egyptian ruler. Ruler here is someone in charge. So the answer is someone in charge. Number two, I'm doing my math homework. Can I borrow your ruler, please? The answer is straight piece of wood. C. Property. Taking another's person's Property is theft. The answer is something that belongs. Number two, the price of property in the city has increased dramatically this year. The answer is land and buildings. Now, D, Kurt. Number one, in the final of the championship, the players were on court for two hours. The answer is area where people play. Number two, three men will appear in court tomorrow accused of dangerous driving. The answer is place where trials. Now E, fine. Number one, he did a fine job of washing my car. The answer is very good. Number two, he had to pay a fine because he was driving without insurance. Fine here, the answer is money people pay. The last one, F, is type. Secretaries used to spend most of their time typing letters and reports. The answer is write using a machine. Number two, what type of music do you like best? The answer is kind or sort. Exercise number three, nouns and adjectives. Complete these sentences with adjectives derived from the nouns in brackets. You may need to use a dictionary. A. Many people believe that the worst crimes are murder. And other, we have between brackets, violence, the answer is violent act. B. 
there would be a في عنا فراغ situation in society if there were no فراغ systems we have chaos and law there would be a the answer is chaotic situation in society if there were no law the answer is legal systems C he left Kurt a free man because he had proved that he was Farag the jury said he was Farag we have innocence and not guilt the first one the answer is innocent the jury said he was not guilty now grammar linking the past with the present the present perfect number one underline the present perfect simple and continuous verbs in these sentences a Every country has developed its own code of law over hundreds or thousands of years. The answer is has developed. B. They have broken the law, they should be punished. The answer is have broken. C. I've been reading a book about the history of law making. The answer is I've been yani have been reading d anyone who has committed a crime will have a criminal record the answer is has committed e students who have been cheating will be punished severely have been cheating f he's been studying law for three years he is been studying Exercise number two. How are the two present perfect verb tenses formed? The answer is present perfect have or has plus past participle present perfect continuous have or has been plus present participle. Exercise number three. What is the difference in meaning between the underlined verbs in these pairs of sentences? A. Ali has studied law and history this year. Hani has been studying law and history for four years. Anna has studied تحت خط has been studying تحت خط. B. Omar has written two essays this morning, has written. Hassan has been writing an essay all morning. Fianna has written, who has been writing. C. The police sergeant has interviewed two people so far today. The detectives have been interviewing people all week. Has interviewed, have been interviewing. The answer is, in each case, the first sentence tells us about a recent activity that is finished but still related to the present, whereas the second sentence suggests a continuous activity that may not be finished. Now, reading an essay. One. Read the new crimes text below and answer these questions. The text. New crimes. The law related to computer crimes is changing very quickly. Modern criminals are using computers to help them commit crimes like identity theft and to make it easier to commit old crime like theft or fraud. One issue that makes it hard to fight computer games Computer crimes is that this type of offense is often more difficult to solve than traditional crime because the criminals are invisible and their actions may be hard to prove. Another issue is that it's quite difficult to prosecute a computer criminal successfully because 
Usually, nothing is actually stolen or physically damaged. In recent years, computer crime has increased as the number of people using the internet to buy things or to access their bank accounts has grown. This new type of business has attracted techno-criminals who order goods with pay without paying or break into the computer systems of businesses and move money to their own account or send viruses which can seriously damage computers and the information they contain. Viruses can affect millions of people worldwide. Criminals can use the internet to plan crimes and pass on confidential information more easily than meeting, meeting or telephone conversations. Computers allow criminals access to millions of people whom they may persuade to pay for something worthless. Now, question number one. A. What examples of old and new crimes does the writer give? The answer is old crimes theft, fraud, new crimes identity theft. B. What do you think motivates internet criminals? And C. How do you think internet criminals should be punished? هذا السؤال بيرجع لرأيكم أنتو. Exercise number two. Read the article again and match each beginning from A to C with the endings from one to four. There is no more ending than you need. في عنا نهاية واحدة أكثر من بتحتاجوها. A, B, C. في عنا A. Computer criminals are invisible. B. The fact that actual things are not stolen by computer crime criminals. C. One of the reason why computer crime is on the increase is that one makes it more difficult for the police to prosecute them successfully. Two, more people are using the internet to buy goods. Three, safer than telephone conversations. Four, which makes it more difficult for the police to solve computer crimes. A. The answer is four. A. Computer criminals are invisible. Number four, which makes it more difficult for the police to solve computer crimes. B. The fact that actual things are not stolen by computer criminals. The answer is one, makes it more difficult for the police to persecute them successfully. C. One of the reasons why computer crime is on the increase is that the answer is two. More people are using the internet to buy goods. Now, three. Match these words and phrases from the article with their meaning. A. Fraud. B. Identity theft. C. Virus. D. Solve a crime. Number one. The crime of stealing someone's personal details. Two. To discover who commit a crime. Three. The crime of lying or cheating to get money. Four, a bad program which damage computers. A, fraud. The answer is three. The crime of lying or cheating to get money. B, identity theft. The answer is one. The crime of stealing someone's personal details. C, virus. The answer is four. A bad program which damages computer. D. Solve a crime. The answer is to, to discover who, who commits a crime. Exercise 1 from writing. The policeman in the photograph is responsible for ensuring that drivers obey traffic laws. Discuss this question with a partner. Do you think that uh, there should be speed limits? If so, where, why, where? Give reasons for your answer. B. What should happen to motorists who break these speed limits? 2. You are going to write an essay in, or in answer to do this question. Should motorists who drive too fast in residential areas be banned from driving? A. Decide what your opinion are in the subject. Is your answer to this question yes or no or it depends? B. Plan your essay in four paragraphs. Write notes under these headings. 
Paragraph 1, background to the topic. Paragraph 2, arguments for. Paragraph 3, arguments against. Paragraph 4, your opinion. Write your essay in 100 or 120 words. Use ideas you discussed in exercise 2 above and expression from the useful language box below. Follow your paragraph plan and express your ideas clearly and simply. Make sure readers know what your opinion is. نهاية هذا التسجيل